Hi, my name is Kim, <laughs> and even though I'm not really totally prepared to be making videos, I've got a delivery today from Equigenera, and I really just wanted to try to get that as I'm opening it and make sure everything is good with the, the delivery. And, um, unboxing video. It is an unboxing video from, so these are from Equigenera, which is the largest orchid grower in Ecuador. It's really hard to import orchids because you need an import permit. And if it's an endangered species, you need all these special, you know, documents and everything for it. What Equigenera will do is they make several trips to the United States every year for different orchid shows. Well, they just happened to be coming to San Francisco um, just this past weekend, which was July 22nd, 23rd. Now, I live in New York. They will, you, you order and you pay a couple of weeks before they're set to come to the United States, and they will do all of the import for you. They'll do, they'll do all of the, the customs and the documents and the inspections, and they bring it in and they're the ones importing it. Um, and then as soon as they're through customs, they meet up with somebody who's apparently living in California, because I can see the guy, Ivan Portilla, from California, and that guy takes a van or whatever and takes whatever you've ordered and brings it to, your, to the local post office right there near the airport, puts it on the uh, post, uh, you know, at the post office and ships it to you from the United States. So I'm not actually importing them. So this is just from the United, uh, okay. So I'm opening it up for the first time. It looks like it was opened and I'm thinking it was opened uh, at the point where it came through customs. You still, it's still working? Okay. So here is my packing slip. I have a lot, I, I ordered over $200 worth of orchids here and this is tiny. So I know I ordered really tiny orchids because I have a project that I've been working on which is a very, very fancy orchidarium case, a curio, a conversion of a curio, and I'm gonna do another video on that. And I wanted to make it look like a jungle and I want everything mounted and coming down the sides with the light from it. And that's why I wanted to focus on very tiny orchids to fill that orchidarium. So, okay, packing list, there should be at least 14, 17? I might have, yeah. okay, 17 orchids in here. And uh, wow, they're tiny, okay, wow. Okay, this is a little, um, can you see this, Elizabeth? Yeah. This is a tiny little uh, sealed case with things in it mounted on cork. Um, and again, I'll take photographs of this to get that real close up because these are going to be real tiny in the video. Um, I don't know how to do this. This is going to be okay. Okay, so it's like two ice cream or deli containers that are clamshelled together. Am I still? Mm -hmm. Right. And everything's marked with this B-U. Was that my name? It's not really my name, but everything, the box had B-U. Even on the label, the postal label, it said B-U. They had the hand wrote B-U is like everywhere on this. So it's code that I want to figure out what that is. Okay, so the orchids. These are, oh my God, these are tiny. These are really tiny. This is, okay, oh, they're, they're actually, oh wow, they're actually, okay. So, all right, so this is a deli container filled with holes. Um, the, they are attached to this so well that they're not moving at all. They are, the mounting, met the piece of metal, the, the, uh, the hanger is through the plastic and I mean, you know, you could put this upside down and it's not going because they're taped on. The first one here is tiny, it's Dryadala clavulata on cork bark. The second one is adorable and that is Ericina, Ericina Glossomystax. 
gloss on my stacks. Ericina Pusilla is this other fan. So the Ericina are these fan shaped, um, cute little tiny things. And this is Platysteel, starts with an X Ximini. X Ximini. So they, that looks almost like a little Masdevallia or something. It's got those little leaves that come off. Don't want to mix these up. Okay, ready for the next one? They look a tiny bit dry. I hope they're gonna. I hope they're gonna be okay. Um, all right. So these are the ones that are wrapped in paper. Brasiliorchis chunkiana. And, and these are labeled BU on the, the tape. It's like when they were prepping the order, I was BU for some reason. What does that mean? Anyway, I'm going to try to just do this. Wow. Oh my goodness, this is a packed plant. Are these bare root? Liz, are you getting this? Yeah. Okay. This is Brassilorchis Shunky Anna. I might take the tape. I might take the, the uh, scissors for this. It's got sphagnum. It might be bare root. Yeah, it's bare rooted. Which might be. Okay. And the plant looks good. There's a couple of yellow, yellow leaves. It's like something you'd see in a greenhouse. It looks pretty healthy. I think this is a really big plant. Wow. Okay. Um, this is going to be a mess. Ready? This is a tiny little guy here. Restrepia Symbula. C-Y-M-B-U-L-A. Restrepia Symbula. So... Oh my goodness, they popped right out. Wow, I like these leaves. These leaves look like little little shovels or something. Okay, maybe I should just uh, kind of leave those roots packed. I don't know, maybe it might be good to look at the roots. They look... Well, I'm gonna have a lot of work later when I have to pot these and everything. A lot of it has sphagnum around it. So that looks good. Looks nice and healthy. The leaves, they have purple on the back and uh, looks really cool. I've never seen one like this before. Restrepia smula. This is a massive, this is one I ordered. They, I had ordered a certain number of orchids, about 15. They didn't have a few. This is one of the hybrids that I got. Most of these are species orchids. They didn't have a couple that I wanted, so then I went back and I added a couple that were kind of borderline because they didn't have a few, so I wanted to fill that order. And this is Mazavalia Machu Picchu, which is a beautiful, beautiful flower, even for being a hybrid worth having. That looks pretty good, except for the, yeah, a couple of little new growths or spikes. So this is an exciting one. If it's, so I have BU, there's a, there's a label here, um, BU San Francisco uh, on the, the, the leaf here. I'm going to see how that is, okay, coming right off. BU. I have been given another Mazavalia, a species Mazavalia, Pen Penguiensis. The little wet paper is a tiny bit moist, which is probably good. And so these were just shipped out. I see the postal label. 
and that these were just shipped out on the 21st of July. It's got a little cut in the leaf. Uh, it looks a little bit dry. This tiny little root ball. This might be one that I end up mounting. I have giant, could you get me that cork bark, that giant raft of cork bark in the other room? I'm going to have big giant rafts of cork bark that I want to put as like a tree would look like. Yeah. Thanks. So this might be one that I end up putting on these pieces of the cork bark that I'm going to put in the uh, ovarian. That's, that would look really cool on there. I don't want to lose the labels. I'm going to put these in the cup, the other side of the cup. This is Barbosella cuculata. Isn't there a isn't there a Brassavola cuculata? Is that what this is? They're calling it a Barbosella cuculata. What am I thinking of? Ooh, that's really nice looking. Really full green, packed with leaves crawling right up off of the mount. So that looks promising. Mastivalia caudata, which is another species, Mastivalia. And I tried to pick the Mastivalias that were more of intermediate growers. I have some plans to make a very cool growing area. But that's going to be after the orchid case project. So I have a lot of different things planned. And I do have kind of a cool climate. I mean, it's, it rarely gets over 90 degrees in my area. Um, and I do keep an air conditioner on. These leaves are just falling right off of here. Yikes, that, that didn't even look like there was a re... This one's falling off too. Oh my god, what happened to this? Oh my god! This is not cool. This is mess. This was, because it looks like it's not gonna. This was or is Mazdavalia caudata. And, hmm, a little moldy. Got a funny, funny smell. I'm gonna have to soak this a little bit. I might have to keep this one away. I might put this one behind me. It's got a little bit of mold on that, on the paper. I'm gonna put this one over here. A little different. So I don't know if that's because it was in the middle of the box, if they're all going to be that way. There's a way of pronouncing this. Sichvinefia. Sichvinefia dasiandra. How many minutes of the video is it so far? 16. Okay. 16 minutes? Oh my god. It's not that long. I did, did a lot of work in here. Oh my god, the leaf. Ah! Oh my god. Oh no! Disaster. This one is not happy at all. This one is really. needs some. Emergency room help. Put the dun dun dun, dun effect while you're editing it. So this one's pretty much. Oh no. Unless those little tiny pseudo bulbs. It, it smells just musty, a little rotted. Oh boy. Well, this one. This one is really not not good at all. Let me put this behind me with all of its little dead leaves. What are they? They looked promising. It was it's got that grassy. I I never have luck with those grassy leaved orchids like the cymbidiums, the miltonias. I never they always come out folded or pleated. So, oh 
Restrepia. Restrepia are one of my, some of my favorite orchids, so I'm hoping that these look good. Restrepia Dodsoni. So that was not good. Ooh, oh my God. You hear that? That one's cool. So I like these. Uh, the flowers are so cool. They look almost like bulba films. But for strepia, this is definitely going to go on the mount. So that's that's a really nice looking one right here. Put this one in here. Oops. God, we got a lot, still a lot more here. Mazdevalia amplexa. Uh, my species, Mazdevalia amplexa. Oh, that looks really nice. This is a good looking one. Nice. Looks really good. No leaves were lost. Be you. Phragmopedium, a species Phragmopedium that's very rare, Hertzii, H-I-R-T-Z-I-I. -I. This um, has a tiny bit of musty spot, moldy looking spots on the paper, so I'm hoping for the best with that. I might have to give it some kind of treatment, but wow, it's got at least one, two, three, four, five. it's got at least seven good sized growths plus some additional minor sized growths. So this is going to be a prized featured orchid in my collection. If it lives. Another Mazavalia. This one's adorable. Its name is Don Quixote which is, as everybody must know, a hero of Spanish literature. And I was a literature major in college, so I had to study this as a Spanish minor. Uh, we had to read that. But Don Quixote is a dreamer. That's what he is. He's a guy who never gives up. Oh, looks good. Lost a couple, but uh, that's something maybe. I don't know what that is. It's not really a spike because it doesn't have any buds at the end. Oh. Maybe a lot. There's another one of those spikes, but I'm going to take that off. It didn't look good. And, uh, Don Quixote. And... Mastavalia Amabilis. This is a real beauty. Okay, the leaves look a couple coming out. Look like they were yellow. Okay. Mastavalia angulata. Almost done with this. Climb, clima. Uh, intermediate cold. Okay, this one looks really good. Doesn't smell like anything. Doesn't have a bad. And there's a couple of new growths on there. There's the label. And Fragmopedium, my other frag. Uh oh. It's got a couple of spots which might be mold. A little bit of uh, mildew on the outside. I know if it's named after a guy. You say the name and then you add the I afterwards. Pierce I. Pierce, Pierce I. I'm going to have to look that up. Oh, okay. Looks good. It's got a lot of growths on it. This is not a seedling. I always get, I always buy things as seedlings because then you can kind of afford them. But this is bigger than I was expecting. It smells good. There's nothing bad going on here. 
It's got at least one, two, three, four good growths plus a couple of smaller. Poroglossum. This is the, I think this is the last one. Poroglossum muscosum. That's kind of a gross name. Mus muscosum. Okay, I hope this isn't like that other one. Oh, oh no, this is one of those cute, noisy little ones. Okay. And let's get into the roots, and then we'll be done. What is that? Oh, is that a little spike? That might have been... Oh, maybe just a new leaf. Some of the leaves are folded in here, but this is going to look nice on the mount. Pour a glass of muscosa. That's it. I dare you to say like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Well, thank you for watching my unboxing video, and I will, if you subscribe, I will keep you posted on the progress or death of these orchids. So I will also probably um, put photographs set in, because I know that's one thing the camera will do. We'll take very nice photographs. So, bye-bye. Nailed it.